the uh, mechanical handpiece like this, which was developed about 100 years ago, really hasn't changed much. It's gotten a lot smoother, it's gotten lighter, and a lot more efficient. So I, I like to have that out for people. This is what is used pretty much throughout the world to take wool off the sheep. And a lot of people use blades. A lot of hand spinners use blades mm -hmm. um, because they actually give a cleaner, cleaner clip. And there are a number of people, um, especially in Argentina, who actually shear with exclusively with blades. It leaves about a quarter or half inch of fleece on the animal. A lot of those sheep down there live in a pretty, pretty harsh environment, uh -huh. so it helps a lot to blade shear. I've been shearing for about two years. I've been raising sheep for quite a while. I was kind of unhappy with a shearer that we had. I saw the ad for the shearing school, which is out in Moses Lake, Washington. I decided, well, why not? Might as well give it a whirl. And I got in, spent a week out there, and then just put my name out and started shearing. And I love it. I mean, I love sheep, and I love shearing, too. So do you still have your own sheep? Oh, yeah. Um, we've got about 50. We live in uh, Concrete, Washington. I used to live here on the island. We moved just to have more space and better grass. So how did you connect with the, uh, the sheepdog competition? One of my friends was doing the demo. She asked me to do it last year. And uh, I said, sure, yeah, why not? And uh, I know some of the people also who work here and vend here from just living on the island. Uh -huh. um, cool. But it's just a cool event. You know, yeah. for people who raise sheep and really anyone who works with stock, you know, it's a, it's a chance to talk and meet and sort of kick back, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice laid back event. Yep. And, and for me, what I really like is, is trying to educate people about, about wool, you know, the process of raising and clipping wool and sort of what goes into making a wool garment and why it's a cool fabric. Because a lot of people never seen a sheep get sheared. And, yeah. Uh, it's, so it's it's fun for me to kind of talk to people and give people that information. Sheep grow a coat and then that coat gets cut off. How often does that happen? It depends on the breed of sheep and it also depends on the intentions of the of the shepherd. There are some sheep that grow quite long fleeces. You don't have to shear them twice a year, but because of where we live, Western Washington especially, it, it's better to clip them twice a year because it it cuts down on contamination of the fleece, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah. if you're raising your sheep for meat, you might not really care about getting a second fleece. You know, if you're selling your, your fleeces for, you know, $20, $40 a piece, mm -hmm. it makes it well worthwhile to have them sheared twice a year. Sure. Um, for people like the, the folks next door to me here in the fiber arts tent, they search out these special fleeces and um, spin them. You can spin pretty much anything. It varies greatly. You have what are called basically carpet wool sheep, which are, it's extremely coarse fiber, um, and there's a lot of hair in it. And a lot of that is, you know, goes to carpets and um, might be used for socks and filler stuff. And then you, you start to go up in grade, you know, and you get up to like the merino, um, which is an extremely fine fleece. And that's like the garment fleece, the stuff we actually wear on our skin. So, so does, could any, uh, any sheep create the, the highest quality wool, or is it a certain kind of sheep? No, it's, um, it depends on, on the breed and sort of the, the history of that breed. And a lot of sheep in the U.S. come from the Rambouillet breed, which originally came from Spain. That has been put into a lot of different breeds in this country to improve wool quality. It just depends on the breed, you know. These sheep here are the reason I kind of wanted to bring them today is they're actually hair and wool sheep crosses. Hair sheep shed, you don't need to share. Wool sheep you have to, you know, you have to clip off the fleece. Um, and that's interesting because these ones are actually, they'll mix so they probably won't shed. Um, but they, uh, they, they retain the wool quality from their father, who is uh, a wool sheep. My name is Pierre Monnet. I'm originally from the Seattle area, Puget Sound area. Oh, so, okay. Yeah.